Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send Facebook Messenger chat messages on Gmail. So here my objective is that whenever I receive a new message in Facebook Messenger, then I want to use this message and I want to send this message to my team as an email through Gmail. For that, I have to create a connection between Messenger and Gmail. For creating this connection, I'm going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Public Connect, I'm going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Messenger. In Action application, I'm going to use Gmail. So how I am going to create this integration, for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how I can send the message that I'm receiving in my Facebook page to my teammates as email through Gmail. Suppose I have this Facebook page and it is named as Green Pro Landscaping and in this page I'm getting a lot of messages for new inquiry for my business. Now I want to share these details of messages with my team so that we can connect and fulfill the inquiries that I'm getting. So I will send these messages as email to my team members. For this, I have to connect Facebook Messenger with Gmail in such a way that whenever I will receive a new message in my page, then automatically I will share the message details with my team as an email through Gmail. For that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com and it will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on access now button under Pabli Connect and this will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now I want to create a new workflow for that I'm going to click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up here I have to name my workflow so I'm going to name it as my objective which is to how to send Facebook messenger chat messages on Gmail. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow so I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select home here and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we need to set up our trigger first. And here my trigger application will be Facebook Messenger. So I'm going to select Facebook Messenger here and I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab a new message sent to page will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and I will connect Facebook Messenger with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect and I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Facebook Messenger. As I have already logged into my Facebook account in the browser, so it has detected that. Now I'm going to click on continue to give access to my account and my connection here is successful. And now I have to select the Facebook page on which I'm getting the messages and that I want to use. And for that, I'm going to open this tab and my page name is Green Pro Landscaping. So I'm going to select this. So I have selected my page. Now I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request button. And here it is waiting for Webhook response. Now how I'm going to get this Webhook response? For that, I have to send a message to that particular page that I'm using. So I'm going to use another Facebook account and I'm going to send a message to that particular page. So here I have opened this Facebook page on which I have to send a message and I'm using this account of Devin Parker. So here I'm going to click here on message and this open my Facebook Messenger tab and here I'm going to send a message which says hello I want to know more about your business products and I'm going to send this message. So I have sent this particular message to this particular page which is named as Green Pro Landscaping. Now let's go to my page where I'm receiving this message and here on my page I have received this new message so I will open this message and it will take us to the Meta Business Suite where we will see all the messages that we are receiving on our Facebook page. So this person which is named as Devin Parker has sent us this new message which says, hello, I want to know more about your business product. So I have received this new message. Now I'm going to get this same message on Public Connect. So where I will capture the details. So I will go back to Public Connect and here we can see we have received this new response. So this is the name of the sender which is Devin Parker. And we have this message which says, hello, I want to know more about your business products. 
Now what I need to do is I want to share this message and the details of this message with, with my team and I want to send out email to my team through Gmail. So for that, I'm going to set up my actions tab. So I will open this tab and here my action application will be Gmail. So I'm going to select Gmail here and I have to select my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send email will be my action event. And now we'll connect Gmail with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Gmail. And I will click on continue to give access to my account. And my connection here is successful. Now here I have all these details and I have to fill all these details to send an email to my team. First, I have to give the email address on which I have to send the email. So I'm going to give the email address of my team member. So I'm going to type that. And if I have to fill this CCC and BCC option, I can do that, but I don't require these. So I will go to my email subject and I'm going to type my subject as new Facebook message. Now I have to give the email contained. So I'm going to type my email contained here. So this will be my email contained, which says, hello, we have received a new Facebook message and the details are name of sender and message. So here I'm going to map the name of my sender and the message from the response that I have received from Facebook Messenger. So here I'm going to use mapping and what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for that, I'm going to open this response of Facebook Messenger and in this I have this name of my sender. So I'm going to map this and in the position of the message, I'm going to map the message that I have received. So this is the message that I have received from Facebook Messenger. So I'm going to map this and in the last I will say thank you. So this will be my email contained. And if I have any attachment or file name, then I can fill these details, but these details are not required now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send touch cookie button. And here I have received this new response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent this email to my team member. So in this email, I have sent the message details that I have received in my page through Facebook Messenger. Now to check this, let's go to Gmail. And here we can see I have received this new email. So let me show you this message. So this is my new email and the subject is new Facebook message and the content of my email is hello. We have received a new Facebook message and the details are name of sender Devin Parker and the message is hello. I want to know more about your business products. Thank you. In this email, I have shared the details of the new message that I have received from Facebook Messenger on my Facebook page and I have shared this email with my team member. So here my integration between Facebook Messenger and Gmail is working successfully. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here I have created this connection between Facebook Messenger and Gmail in such a way that whenever I'm receiving a new chat message in Facebook Messenger for my page, then automatically I'm capturing those details of the message and I'm sharing that details through an email with my team members with the help of Gmail. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Facebook Messenger and my trigger event was new message sent to page. Then I have set up my action and my action application was Gmail and my action event was send email. So here I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Tabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.